almost three years after the breach of Condit Dam and one of the largest dam removal projects in history. The lowest section of the White Salmon River has become one of the most unique raft trips in the Pacific Northwest. covering stretches of river that were buried under Northwest Reservoir for almost a century and passing the old dam site. The lower section of the river offers gorges so narrow it feels as though you're paddling through a crack in the ground. So before the next mile downstream of here was underwater uh, due to Condit Dam and it rarely, there's rarely water in the river below there so the few times that we could paddle it we have to climb down the dam when it was spilling and that would be maybe like five or ten days a year at the most. Yeah, I mean everybody loves having one more stretch of river, it's one more option. Uh, you know, the middle white salmon is still more popular, uh, mainly because there's a rapid downstream that's pretty hard and it gets portaged a lot, but it's just beautiful in there. So for just a fun scenic afternoon with some rapids, it's been nice. The trip begins at Northwest Park and heads downstream bouncing through a collection of rapids and gradually entering what's known as the White Salmon Narrows. The toughest rapid, Steelhead Falls, is often portaged on the left, while some expert kayakers do take up the challenge. The run eventually ends with views of Mount Hood as the White Salmon joins with the Columbia River, bringing an end one of the most unique rafting trips in Washington, Oregon, or anywhere else. 